Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. Woo, woo. Woo, woo. <laughs> so it's about 2 p.m. here on a Thursday, but it got to be 5 o'clock in London by now on a Friday. So uh, I'm going to have TJF Friday on TJF Thursday. So stay tuned and I'll show you my favorite signature drink. If anyone knows me and been knowing me for a while, you know that my favorite signature drink is a apple martini. I'm a foo-foo kind of a guy when it comes to uh, alcohol. I don't like really beer. Uh, definitely love wine. I'm a red wine kind of a person. But every once in a while, or more often <laughs> lately, um, I love a good stiff cocktail. And um, it's been a long week. We all have been quarantined. There's no bars open, so you have to be very creative and make your own drinks. So today I thought I'd show you guys my signature apple martini, so stay tuned. I like to keep it simple, so it's only about three ingredients, and then I use a, a red apple for garnish, even though it's traditionally a green apple martini. I just wanna add a little color, cause I got a little flavor. So in today's drink, you will be needing apple pucker, Whatever vodka is your choice, uh, I'm a Kettle One kind of a guy. I keep it in the freezer. And I put a splash of Malibu um, coconut uh, liqueur. And uh, you're gonna need ice. Ice shaker. And a chilled already martini glass. I keep these also in my freezer too. The first thing I'm going to do is add some ice into my shaker over here. My booze in the office uh, still working, so I'm just going to make one for myself. Or maybe I'll make two for myself. So you would need um, two ounces of vodka, a double, uh, four ounces of apple pucker, and a half an ounce of coconut rum. And um, what I like to do is put some ice in the martini glass with a little water. It kind of chills the glass, keep it chilled. So I'm going to put two ounces, maybe three, because it's been a long week, of vodka. Four ounces of the apple pucker. One, two, three, four. And you can adjust that so if you're not really a sweet kind of a person, you can put two ounces and make it even, even. Um, but I like mine sweet. And a half an ounce of coconut rum, which is optional, it just gives it a little bit more of a kick. Then you put the lid on. And you shake it, 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 shake it. Then your ice was, your uh, martini glass was chilling. You just throw out the ice. So after shaking it like a Polaroid camera, you just pour it. Fill it to the rim. And then I just slice an apple. And again, I use the red apple, so it's the green apple, just to give it a little more color. And there you have it, Sky Bobby Apple Martini. It's not strong enough. I need more vodka. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll be making another specialty drink probably tomorrow on Friday. So I'll have a happy hour on Thursday and I have a happy hour on Friday. If you enjoy watching this, make sure you like this uh, video. Make sure if you're new and to see me for the first time, you like what you see, subscribe. Uh, you can also check me out on my Instagram account at SkyBobbyTV.